just yet. Oh, look at all this carbon dioxide building up. That's pretty good. That's about what I'm looking for. So Hello everyone, Thranks is here and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included episode 14 of the Automation Upgrade Season, where we're getting our second assignment, assignment base set up. It's going to be really, really great. It is, I assure you. I don't think this is... Oof, you're, you're, you panic me with that. You really do. I don't think this is how I want to do this part, though. I think I want to step this up. Hmm. That means this will sort of become just a little trapped area here. But I do. I want it. I want it contiguous with the base. I don't want this whole other setup that I had originally planned. So we're gonna do it like that instead. Uh, this can be dug up, and then the work is getting done. There is a lot of work to do, and it is slowly but surely getting complete. going to need a lot more storage to hold all this stuff. There's a lot of sweeping that needs to be done. Speaking of storage, our other slime storage is set up over here. Let's get you squared away. I hear water dripping and flowing and... What is this? There is, there's polluted oxygen hanging out there. Turn off. Turn off. Right. No, I remember. I changed these at the end of last episode, and I remember now why I had them set to zero. It was so I could vacuum out those areas entirely once we're ready, and we'll be ready soon. We're starting to make a dent in the slime lung in this area, finally. And again, that's not that it's a huge deal that we absolutely have to get it all clean, but I don't want to risk any slime lung coming back here and fighting with the chlorine and pushing the... Although the chlorine's a pretty solid barrier against it. But no, stop. Stop spooking me like that. Uh, that reminds me, though. Uh, D-Light, you seem to be... Uh, aid and Cook, yes. You seem to be having some issues. And that made me think, mm, perhaps you had... No, I thought maybe you would have the uh, the the negative perk where you need to breathe more air. That's not the case. Look at this. We have a snazzy suit for Sostus. And... Oh. And a snazzy suit for D-Light. And then an extra one. Perfect. Very good. Yes, everyone's coming in here to catch their breath. And... That's, by design, that's sort of how that's supposed to work. Uh, you know what we could do? Is we could... We could stop using this algae terrarium. There really is no need for that anymore. And instead, we can just piggyback right off of this. into here. And this way, this room will always have plenty of oxygen and never be a problem, and we won't have to keep using the water and algae. Not that water and algae is a problem yet, but it will be soon. Another duplicant! Is it time for another duplicant? Ooh, we've got four strength learning and athletics, strength learning medicine immunity, Four strength is not that great, but it is good. Let's take a look at our oxygen production. Yes, we absolutely are going to be taking another duplicate. 
and your name is going to be JCLC. Welcome to the colony. Glad to have you with us. And that means that down here we need to start assigning dupes to sleep down here. So let's look at who has been doing their training. Who's got athletics? It's not going to be Master... Okay, so the Exosuit crew, number one, is Master Midia, Sylvia Fox, 007 Halfling. You guys are not an option. Edward G., you are now freed up. And you have tons of athletics. So you will sleep here. And this will be your mess table. Next on the list, uh, Shark Walker, you're... Yeah, that's... I mean, you're the artistic one, though. You're our high creativity guy. But there's room for other people to get creative, too. It's not super important. Plus, you'll be able to do work elsewhere. Okay, so Shark Walker, you will be assigned down here. Let's see. We're looking for people with high athletics. GG, you're no longer the resident doctor. Sostas is definitely going to be the new resident doctor. So your athletics 19 makes you a prime candidate. For being assigned to the oil excavation crew. Oh, look at all that fun stuff there. Mm, all that fun stuff. For storage, though. Storage, storage. Let's, let's look at storage a bit like this. I'm thinking... We'll go Igneous Rock. If we do it here like this then we can also dig out this iron and we'll get ourselves some storage right over here two three four i don't know why i'm using sandstone that's probably not what i want to use igneous rock there we go we'll do that for now, we'll get some a place to sweep this up. We're going to go ahead and dig this iron ore up here. We do have 6.6 .6 tons of refined iron. That's exciting. We have another snazzy suit, and this one is for JCLC. There you go. And now we're pumping oxygen into here. Right, we're starting to use a good bit of our oxygen now. We're absolutely going to be capping out this oxygen for a time. But it seems like we still have a good bit. Eventually this is going to back up because people aren't really living in there. So yeah, we're already getting very high pressure. I wish if you guys were going to breathe, you would go all the way through the door instead of... Well, no. A little bit of oxygen leaving here is no big deal. The important part is that I want these gases to slip out. Hmm. Alright, how are things with natural gas? I... Oh, I'm always hesitant to call my shots because I know if I say that I'm really going to prioritize getting something done and then I don't get it done, I'm going to hear about it and everybody's going to be like, hey, Thranks, as you said, I, I know, and I don't like to do that, but I really want to get this natural gas sorted out like now and how. So we're going to have to prioritize this. So obviously, these wires are not going to get done without being prioritized. So we'll do that, and then we'll get this rolling. And then... Let me see. Right here... Oh, what am I doing? I can't do that. Look at all those wires there. We could put it here. Oh, how interesting. Okay, so what I want is... And this is going to eventually, uh, not now, not right this second, but it is. this is going to eventually lead us into our first stint into automation. And of course it doesn't fit there, 
So then maybe we'll have to go here. We could remove this battery here. Well, this is closer to the water. Let's do this. We'll just use the gold that's here. Or no, we don't want... Uh, we got to start saving that gold. We're going to need it. We have to withstand quite hot temperatures down down in the abyss. Oh, and speaking of abyss, we're almost out of abyss of light. Well, we're going to start looking for some more abyss light to shave up. These highways would help if we can get them going. Same thing over here. We've got this and then a ladder. And I think the obvious rock here is granite, but I don't want to do that. So we're going to use igneous rock. Sort of my go-to. And then here. And this will get us over closer to the geyser. Uh, not quite like that or that. It's a waste of time and resources to do that. The top two off the ladder can just be dug like that. And then up, up, up like that. Here, go one higher like that. That'll reveal a good bit to us there and here and uh, we're going to need to work over that way eventually. 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 Not a big deal just yet. Oh, look at all this carbon dioxide building up. That's pretty good. That's about what I'm looking for. So with this being said, we're going to switch this door to auto, this door to auto, and... This door to auto. Oh, don't startle me like that. Goodness. We can copy our settings here and there. And eventually, yes, a lot of this chlorine is about to equalize, which means we can finally get rid of this door. We'll reclaim a little bit of metal there. We'll get some more iron ore here. And in fact, we're going to extend out our storage. Just like that. How are we doing here? Everything looks to be good. Oh, we got a little bit of charge on one battery. How did that happen? I wonder. There must have been a touch of natural gas in the pipe. Must have been. All right, let's turn them on. If it's above zero, kick on. If it's above zero, kick on. And we're going to have to prime these. So let's go ahead and prime them. All right. Uh, here for now is good. There you go. We'll just make all of this high priority and we'll get the system jump started. I don't think I'm going to need a bisolite for this. No, in fact, I'm intentionally not going to use Abyssalite here because this water, while it is going to heat up, it's never going to get as hot as a geyser. So let's stick with what we have lots of, which is igneous rock, to come up here. Wait, wait, I'm not thinking about this properly. Okay, so here's my thought, is what we're going to do is... Oh, oh wait, wait, we're jump-starting it. Hold on. Yep. Here comes the natural gas. Uh-oh, here it comes. Yep, they're kicking on. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay. Now let's look at the things that we can turn off. These never got built because this door does not have permissions. Now it does. Those are a high priority. So now we should not need... Well, once that's done, we won't need it. 960. This one's going to need its own one, so we can get rid of this. Mm, we could run it off of this. In fact, I think we shall. Let's do that. Let's run this wire up and over. And then we can deconstruct... 
No, deconstruct that. Construct the wires. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. Uh, no new duplicates just yet. No, 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 no. We've accepted quite a few new duplicates. We're going to make sure that our oxygen is... Oh, goodness. We've, we've got plenty of... Uh-huh. That's what I thought. This is going to be a problem here. It's going to back up fast. But now look at this, we have this going, and why are these pumps not pumping? Their pipes are blocked because they have no output. This is a priority. Build this gas vent, please, and thank you. Okay, there is a lot going on. We need to juggle people around. Let's see who else is able to... Yes, GG, that's right. You're also going to be part of the oil crew. And then Edward Rue, you're after that. Boom. So that means this will be Gigi and this will be Edward Rue. Perfect. And once this is up, we should start getting lots of oxygen in here, which will open up the piping for this, which will kick that on. But we're about to seriously run into a problem with this CO2. Right. All of these pumps are about to stop, and all of the power they're giving is about to be done. Luckily, we backed up power in these batteries for a time. So let's open this up. Let's start prioritizing this, because this is going to need to be done quick, fast, and in a hurry. Let's go with iron at a priority 8. I'm going to go ahead and say the exosuit checkpoint. Oh, goodness, it's not even going to fit there. Not without changing this. So let's see. Priority. 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 Okay. And then here, these can be dug out. Right. All that stuff is going to need to be dug out. Copy settings here. I suppose we could move it back. We could make that the door. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So it'll be checkpoint. And then dock, one, two, three, four, which means we're gonna need more exosuits. One, two, three, four. There we have it. And this actually, let's make sure it, that is getting stuffed full of food, same as the other ones. Copy settings to there, thank you. Very good, very good. I'm a fan of this. This ladder's not necessary. We're going to put it there anyways. I wonder if we even needed to go around this. Why wouldn't we just step off from there? I don't think this roundabout here is necessary. In fact, I'm almost positive it's not, but we're going to leave it for the time being. Let's go ahead and get our piping system here. We're going to say one and two. And then one, two. Like that. Okay, so for electricity's sake, that's at 720. And I want that to power this gas pump. So let's do that. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this wiring here. No, we're not. Uh, we're going to get rid of that wire there. And then we're going to connect it to this wire. This wire is going to get a bridge because it's currently sitting at 360. Which will come on over here. Oh, come on. Get this wire like this right okay starting to look how I want uh, the more I the more I take a peek at this whole roundabout thing the more I'm displeased with it and want it to go away 
but I want to make sure that this is always going to be in sterile atmosphere. Hmm. How's the decor looking? Despite the rubble everywhere, decor is high <laughs> in the new base. It is incredibly high. All right, and those natural gas systems are fully jammed up because we need to get this carbon dioxide out of here and we need to give it to some slicksters. And we will. We will. It is a thing we'll do. Once we breach into the oil biome. Awaiting copper ore delivery. This needs a... Let's give you a six. You're more important than a five. You're a six. You're a five. You, uh, we don't need any more refined metal just yet. We won't worry about that. This is sort of going to be a situation where one hand washes the other. We need the, we need to breach into the oil biome. We need to breach into the oil biome to get the CO2 flowing, and we need the CO2 flowing in order to get the power required to breach into the oil biome. So what I think that ends up meaning is that we're actually going to... We're actually going to dig into the oil biome slightly. Ooh, 80 degrees. Wow, that's hot. There must be exposed lava. That seems really hot. Normally it's like 60 degrees in here. That's going to cause some very, very big temperature issues once we break that abyssalite. Mm. Okay, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have to put in more abyssalite here. Just to try to protect... Oh, that was... Waiting on delivery, Igneous Rock. We've used up so much Abyssalite in piping. We'll, we'll just work with that for now. And then from there... We will tunnel in... We'll tunnel in like this... I think we're going to have to use the exosuit checkpoint. Yeah, it's too hot. We're going to have to get the exosuit checkpoint in there before we can do anything. So if we have to use a hamster wheel to jumpstart it, then we have to use a hamster wheel to jumpstart it. That is all there is to it. Let's go ahead and get all of this done and all of that done. These need to be done. There we go. So we've got GG, Edward G, Shark Walker, and Edward Rue. You guys are now the only ones that can go through this door. Edward, uh, no, wait, not Edward G. Yes, both Edwards. Okay, Edward G, Edward Rue, GG, and Shark Walker. You guys are the only ones allowed to go through that door. But anybody else can pop in here and use your facilities, breathe your oxygen, and all that goodness. Look at that. So much O2. It's a wonderful thing. It really is. Really what we need is for the Abyssalite to be here. And then maybe... Nope. Already went to Igneous Rock. Okay. We'll just leave it like that for now. This one's Abyssalite. Yeah, that'll that'll have to do for now. All right, how are we doing with the exosuits? Oh, we've already made them, all four of them. Marvelous, I love it. Deliver, deliver, deliver the suits. We require exosuits, deliver them please. And then from here now, we can queue up all sorts of good work. 
Igneous rock. Because we are going to... Oof, that's abyssalite down there. This is sort of a shallow section. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. We're going to clear cut the heck out of this place. All right. About like that. Say like this. That's There's not going to be any slime lung there. There is at 82 degrees. Challenge. I challenge that. There is no way. That slime is 82 degrees. 82 degrees. Ooh, up to a hundred thrive in temperatures ah, to 90. I suppose that's, I suppose that's a touch realistic. I can understand. We're gonna have to make some of this stuff out of gold amalgam here. Okay. And why would I do that? Hold on. See, it seems like... Because I don't want this slickster going going all in here and then spitting out oil every time it gets a little mouthful of carbon dioxide. I mean, I know that's why I did it. I just I think there's a better way to handle it. That's what I mean to say. So get us some iron, some diamonds. Yeah, we'll just use the iron ore that's already here. I'm hoping as this clears out of all this hot stuff and we get more thin air that the heat will disperse and it won't be quite so hot up here. That's my hope anyways. All right, let's say priority seven. Go to it, everyone. You can do it. And look, we've got iron down here we're going to have to come and get now. Yeah, okay, all right, all right, I suppose. Nope, cancel that one. There we go, getting that abyss light. All right, and that means we'll take this igneous rock ladder down here. In fact, we're going to go ahead and cut up that abyssalite and this abyssalite. Why not? People can come and get this iron. Uh, I would like this swept, but I'm going to leave it at a five. But I do want all this swept up. Same here. Sweep. Sweep. Thank you. If it's inside the base, it needs to look nice. There's storage compactors right here. There's no excuse. We are still jammed up over here big time. No, 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 no. This is a deconstruct. No, 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 no. Oh, Sylvia Fox. Exercising in your atmosphere suit, that's that's just mean. I'm sorry I left you I left you to that. That's that was very mean of me. Talk about feeling like you're going nowhere, accomplishing nothing. But my it's like, but my my athletics are hindered. You will exercise anyways. No, that's not how things that's not how we do things here at uh Thrinks's Industrial Park. How do I want to do this? Because it's going to be... We're going to need the Abyssalite. I kind of want the Abyssalite. Got Slime Lung over there, too. Slime Lung's just infiltrated everywhere. I think for the sake of keeping things easy... I'm just going to do it like this. Yeah, we'll just do it like that for now. Okay. 
top priority. We need to get this power situation online and solved rapidly, please. All right, and then we'll uh, dig, 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 and dig. That's going to cause all this sand to fall down. And our slicksters in our base. Son of a gun. Well, you're not going to get any carbon dioxide over in that direction, I'm sorry to tell you. Oh, yeah, look at that. No, well, no exposed lava here. It's just much hotter than I recall. This is good, though. This is good, though. Okay, so we're going to queue up some digging to be done. Here, and... We're going to dig across like this. I guess we'll go ahead and put the ladder down there. And then we'll put another ladder here. Why not? Stick up that way. And down this way. And we'll give this ladder a priority. And this one too. Sure, why not? Look at all that oil. This is going to be so good. I cannot wait. Let's get this finished over here. No, I see the time. The clock is laughing at me. We are not going to end this episode without getting the CO2 situation straightened out. That's that's a fact. And then eventually we'll be able to get a high pressure system. Oh, pinch of pepper nut. Oh, that's no good. Oh, yeah, we need a place to put these balm lilies, don't we? Okay, well, then let's... Since we're dealing with medicine and stuff in here, this is what I'll say. Go granite, high priority. We'll just put one here. For now. I've already thought about expanding this training base a little bit, and we might at some point, but we're not just yet. Balm lily flower, please. Thank you. Just leave that at a five. Uh, in fact, probably bump it down to a three. It's not that important. All right, look at the oil crew go. Good job, oil crew. Now we're getting all these diamonds. All right, you guys are going to have your work cut out for you for a bit. Oh, we're almost... This is unreachable because of this. Of course it is. No! No! We're going to have to wait another day cycle. Okay. Alright, that's... That's acceptable, I suppose. How are you still getting power? Oh, because we're draining out of these batteries. Slowly but surely, we are tapping those batteries. So this over here is good and set up. Mm, I think we'll leave the cold generator on for now as sort of an emergency situation. So now we've got all kinds of carbon dioxide in here. Let's... Let's open this door again and try to let this carbon dioxide equal out. It seems to be venting out in this direction. Oxygen in here. Still got this layer of chlorine on the bottom. I think it's starting to escape. Maybe. Same thing here. Got a lot of chlorine down here. The oxygen is fighting hard to overpressurize it. I believe it will win, though. I believe it will. I know that it will, because the oxygen is reaching high pressure and the chlorine is not. Look at those slicksters. I love it. More slime. More slime lung. Now, wait a second. Okay, that slime should not get picked up. 
because nobody has the ability to nobody from this crew has the ability to get to the slime storage box that's where the other crew has access I was convinced there would be some exposed lava down here. Apparently not. But there is tons of room for carbon dioxide if we can get... Thank you. Goodness. Priority 9, please. This is the end of the episode, so we're going to get this ladder built and done so that everything else can get handled down here and we can finally get that carbon dioxide flowing. Go ahead and take care of it. And this can be deconstructed. In fact, everything can be deconstructed out of that square. As the last one is complete, the CO2 is moving. The natural gas generators have sprung to life. And power is ours. That is what I'm talking about. 960 here, 840 there. That's good. This one is 1440, but none of it really runs continuously. And this one, 960, it has a backup that is not necessary. In fact, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of this and get rid of these. We'll get rid of you, too, because we don't need that heat. Thank you very much. Now we just got to wait on more of our Abyssalite Highway to be uncovered. Oh, what do we have up here? Doesn't look like anything too grand, unfortunately. We could just continue to do this. See what's over in that direction. I'd love to see what's up there. Let's zoom out and take a look at the map real quick before we wrap anything up. And see our little tendrils are reaching out. We're starting to uncover stuff. We have a good bit down here unexplored, a lot to the top, especially on the right hand side of the map. But Swamp Biome is going. We're harnessing that natural gas. That is a fact. And until this polluted oxygen is out of here, we're just going to be pumping that natural gas just as fast as we can. Chlorine. Oxygen. And then, of course, this area filling up with carbon dioxide. The Slicksters are loving that. Uh, what we're going to need, though, are some areas to catch all of our oil. A duplicate checkpoint. And I think this will be one, and this will be another. We're going to need more than one. So we might as well just continue with the ladders and give everybody something to do, right? I don't suppose we need that little bit. But waste not, want not. I cannot help myself. I want it. I want it all. We'll just queue that up, and then the ladder should start here. But this is the end of the episode, and I really mean it this time. So this has been... Oof, that's not going to work. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll give cross crossovers here. This has been, oxygen not included, episode 14 Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. So come back next time as we start pumping oil and working our way towards plastics. But until next time, take care.